Okay, so we did regression by hand, which involved, you know, graphing a scatter plot, drawing a line that fits the pattern, and then writing a, an equation for that line. Now we're going to do linear regression using either a calculator or Desmos, a program on computer. Okay. So these notes are going to be short because then we have to go, then you're going to have to go to, you know, if you have a graphing calculator, you go to the graphing calculator video. Or if you don't have a graphing calculator, you'll go to the video that shows you how to do it on Desmos. Okay, but first let's explain what linear regression is. Linear regression is the calculator's method of finding the line of best fit. It's the calculator's method for finding the line of best fit. So a calculator or technology, just any technology's method of finding the line of best fit. So before, when we did regression, we were just saying it was a line of fit. This is going to be the absolute best line that you could draw. Okay, Doing it by hand is you know almost impossible to find the, the line that works the best. But the calculator and technology can, use, can do that. And there's one more thing we're going to have to talk about when we do linear regression in the calculator. calculator and that's called the correlation coefficient. So remember, the correlation is the relationship between the data. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it good? Is it bad? And when we did that, we talked about that there is a numerical value that tells us, you know, strong, weak, positive, negative, things like that. And that's called the correlation coefficient. And the variable that it uses is R. Okay. So it'll sometimes it'll say the R value. Sometimes it'll say the correlation coefficient. Okay. It all means the same thing. What the correlation coefficient tells us is it tells us how good of a fit the line is. So how good your trend line, or your line of best fit, uh, fits the data. So like we said, it's going to be, there's always going to be a line of best fit. Okay. Now best doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Okay. So the best line might not be a good line. Okay, but you could draw a line for any any scatter plot. You could draw a line on it. Now, how good that line is depends on the correlation coefficient. Your correlation coefficient, your R value, is always going to be between negative one and positive one. Right, so it's always going to be between negative one and positive one. If your correlation coefficient is negative, it means you have a negative slope. You have a negative correlation. If your correlation coefficient is positive, it means you have a positive slope. If your correlation coefficient is 1, so you have an R value of 1, that's a perfect positive correlation, which means it's just a straight line. So that would, you know, there would be all your dots in a perfectly perfect line with the same slope between them. So R equals 1, that's called a perfect positive. That generally doesn't happen when we're working with data. If you get an R value of negative 1, it's going to be a perfect negative. Okay, again, if you're, if you, if you get these values, then you shouldn't use a scatter plot for your data. And it's perfect negative. And then the other extreme is if you get an R value of zero. R value of zero, again, you know, almost really never comes up because that would mean there's absolutely no correlation. Now, again, you'll never see these values in a problem. But we use these values to kind of compare, you know, what do we, what constitutes a good fit. Okay. Now again, our correlation can be positive, negative, or none. But we said it could also be strong or weak. Okay. So what values give us a strong or weak correlation? So we're going to make a little table here. Now this is, we're going to say the absolute value of R to the positive or negative version of these numbers. And then the correlation. If you get an R value of, we'll say, between like 0.75 and 1. Now again, that's negative 2. So negative 0.75 to negative 1 also works. We consider that a strong correlation. If you have an R value of, we'll say, 0.5 to 0.75. And again, that also works for the negative. So negative 0.5 to negative 0.75. That's a weak correlation. And if you get something between 0 and 0 0.5, okay, 
that's just bad. We, that means it's pr probably not even a linear pattern. So we'll just say that's bad. Okay. If you're getting an R value between 0 and 0 0.5, you, you shouldn't use a linear regression model to fit your data. Okay, because it's probably not, doesn't have a good pattern. All right, but, and that's all we need for linear regression. Now we're going to use the calculator, or we're going to use technology to find the equations and find the R values. Okay, again, all this is going to be done in the calculators, so this is all we need to know by hand. Okay, so the R value tells us how good the line of best fit is, and we're going to use linear, the calculator's linear regression to find the line of best fit.